Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at a Cyber Hobby exclusive Dragon figure. This is General George S. Patton Jr., commander of the U.S. 3rd Army. And Dragon has made uh, many different versions of Patton, I think around four. And in my opinion, this is the coolest version and possibly the rarest. You don't see this one a whole lot. So let's go ahead and look at the box. This is the first patent figure that I've ever had in my collection. And he's from Bavaria, 1945. Really cool picture of Patton. And there's not a whole lot to show on the back or on the sides. Um, but inside, there's the Cyber Hobby exclusive card. And this one was number two that was made. And then I did leave a few things inside of the box, like uh, his medals and a sticker. All right, so cool looking box. Let me take out the figure now. All right, guys, so here is Patton. Overall, this is a very nice looking figure. And yeah, um, I really like the coat that this one comes with. I think that's why I like this version the best. He stands out more than some of the others, in my opinion. So for starters, let's take a look at uh, this thing, which I'm not really sure what exactly you would call this. If this is a, almost looks like a whip, <laughs> um, but that's cool. As for weapons, he does come with his classic revolver. So let's take a look at that. And this is very nice. The detail is great on this. And they do provi <coughs> provide you with some bullets. And I do have some on the side here. And these are actually metal, so pretty good weight to them. And they give you about five of those. I have the rest um, inside of his, um, well, on his belt there. You can see on the back. But if you want, you can try to get him to hold this. He doesn't hold it too well with his gloved hands. But it's not, it's not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the helmet and the head sculpt. So the helmet is plastic. It would have been nice if this was metal. That would have been a nice, uh, it would have given the figure more weight. Um, but still, it looks good. I like the stars in the front. And here is the head sculpt, which is all right. Um, it is a 2004 model, so the detail definitely isn't as good. Um, but it doesn't look bad. It definitely, uh, it definitely looks like Patton. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at the equipment that they give you with this figure. So we've got his belt, which I just realized it's actually upside down. You can see the U.S. is upside down, so my bad. Um, but we got some holes, um, some pouches there in the front. And then in the back, you can see what I was talking about, where the bullets are inside. So they give you a good amount of these bullets. And the quality of those are really good. And then also a nice holster for the revolver. All right, and let me let me actually take the belt off. And we'll see what's underneath of the coat. So there's the belt. One more time. All 
All right, I won't take the whole thing off, but you can see his uniform underneath. That looks very nice. Okay, we got the four stars on his collar. Fortunately, on this side, these actually snapped. That's how it was when I got the figure. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I really like the coat that they give you with this figure. I think that makes him stand out from the other patent figures. Looks very nice. And fits well. Okay, and they do give you uh, gloved hands. These are brown gloves, and those look really good. Uh, they also give you um, regular hands for the figure if you want to swap those out. Um, that would definitely be better if you want him to hold his revolver. Um, but personally, I prefer the gloved hands. That looks really good. All right. Let's take a look at the trousers, which are nice as well. And then the boots are really nice on the figure. Good detailing overall. Uh, just look really good on the figure. All right, guys. Well, I think that's everything to show for Patton. Um, overall, this is a nice figure. Um, a little old. Um, I'm not too impressed with the head sculpt. And it would be nice if the helmet was metal. But overall, I think he does look good. And this definitely is the coolest version of Patton that Dragon made, in my opinion. So I do recommend checking this one out. If you're interested, I did pick him up, pick him up off eBay for, uh, I think it was around 70 or 80 bucks. So little pricey, but that was due to uh, the rarity of this one. So, all right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.